Ultra Algo, and today we are going to review how to optimize the Ultra Algo script directly inside of TradingView. We recently released a new version of our script that includes the ability to set a look back period, as well as stop limits and profit targets. So we'll go directly into the chart of TradingView, and again, to get here, all you have to do is type in tradingview.com and then click on trust. So here we're looking at the Tesla chart and uh, we've set this to the 15 minute. To add the script to the chart, what you'll have to do is click on indicators and then Ultra Algo with alerts. So here you'll see that the script is displaying, it's now showing uh, buy signals, short signals, ultra bull signals. These are indicating uh, market makers are supporting the price. And then the next thing you want to do is say, okay, well, um, I've got a lot of information on the screen here. I might want to reduce that a little bit. So you can actually just mouse over the script, which is Ultra Algo with Alerts, and click on this gear setting, and then click on Style. And in Style, you could uh, remove the signal labels and quantum. This adds a lot of noise on the chart. Now, if you wanted to remove all these additional stop limits and profit target information, you can just click on Trades on Chart, and that's all gone. Depends on your preference. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to set a start date. So for the script, um, it seems like a pattern started to form around November. So I'm going to set my start date for November. I'll say November 1st. Now, if you, if you uh, look at the chart, you can see that the script, if you click on any of these signals, um, the back tip, the look back period starts with here. So you could actually move this back or forward and you'll see how it actually impacts your performance at the bottom of the chart. Next thing I want to do is you can zoom in at whatever range you're interested in. Next thing I want to do is I want to click on this gear settings and I might want to modify these settings. Now, um, the gain setting is going to have a huge impact in terms of how aggressive these signals are. So for example, if I bring the gain settings all the way down to as close to zero as possible, I'll get a ton of signals on the screen. And what you want to do is you want to find that pattern where the buy signal is on the bottom and the short signal is on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gradually push these numbers up, 1.3, 2.3, and I'll keep doing that until I find a very clear pattern that I feel fits my trading style. And now here you can see it's got a, a setting of 6.3, and the profitability is 95%, a profit factor of 9.864. So what I would do before actually uh, engaging in any trades, I'd actually look at these signals and say, okay, well, uh, based off of where this buy signal came in, would I actually be able to trade it and execute it in time? And overall, it looks pretty good to me. Um, these uh, ultra bull signals indicate that the market makers are uh, supporting a price. You can either choose to open up a new position when you see these signals, or you can uh, use them just as a general gauge of if it's bearish or bullish. And um, in order to remove these signals for the ultra signal, the ultra bear and ultra bulls, you could just modify this to show ultra bear or bulls. And this actually modifies your, your, your strategy performance as well. So if I click no, you'll see how that changes. Uh, these total trades changed to 13 where it was, uh, it was initially 20. So it's a matter of preference. And in order to change how aggressive the, um, the, the ultra signals are, you'll have the number of standard deviations. The range for that is one to five. So if I set this to five, I might not see that many ultra signals. But if I bring that down to four, three, two, start seeing more ultra signals that come up. And then the next thing is you want to set your profit target and stop loss. So how aggressive do you want to be with uh, this particular trade? This showed that there were 20 trades on the chart. And if you took a 1% return on each one of those trades uh, based off of having one share traded every time with your order size, you would have a profit of $170. And the max drawdown would be $19.26. So I could potentially modify these settings and say, well, what would it look like if I set my um, if I set my profit target to two percent? That significantly impacts your net profit. Um, 
I could change it to 3%. And now 3%, it seems like you've got more risk because the percentage of profitable trades dropped down maybe 10%. Um, so I said that this would be a good setting for my profit target. You can also go ahead and modify your stock loss. And uh, that is how you modify, that's how you uh, adjust these settings for the optimizer. Next step you might want to do is uh, set an alert and it's the ultra algorithm alerts. And this will fire every single time there's a signal on the chart, whether it be an ultra bull or an ultra bear. So you can be aware to enter or close a position. And I'd go ahead and I'd set to Tesla on the 15 minutes and then click create. Now, every single time that I get an alert, which the next signal is likely going to be a, either a buy or an ultra bear here, um, I'll be notified in my alert box. Now, one thing to be aware of is that if I set this to no other ultra signals, uh, the, the buy and the short signals always run consecutively. So it's buy short, buy short, buy short. You'll never see two buys in a row. You'll never see two shorts in a row. Um, that's a good thing to be aware of. If you do want to see more signals on the upside and on the downside, you would go ahead and toggle this uh, show ultra bull, ultra bear. Thank you for watching the technical video with Ultra Algo, which delivers clear buy and short signals on any security listed on, uh, on, on major exchanges. That includes stocks, forex, cryptos. If you're interested in learning more or getting a free trial, go to ultraalgo.com.